Greetings to you, brethren in Christ. I am Ozan and David. I'm happy that the Lord has kept us alive. And I want to thank God for what he's doing, for keeping us in the faith, for not giving up, and for his grace that he has lavished upon us. I have a message to deliver from the Lord. Some weeks back, I saw some pictures somebody posted on Facebook complaining about a song that was released by Ariana Grande titled God is a Woman. So I was so curious and I said, well, what could this song be? How could a human being called God a woman? This is blasphemy. So I went to YouTube, um, searched for the song. After I watched the song, I felt very, very bad that a human being could go to this extent of calling God a woman and sing a song that has so much sexual symbolism and even quoting Ezekiel chapter 25 verse 17 and turning it upside down in order to blaspheme God. Few days later, I was in the church and the Lord gave me a message. The Bible tells us that in John chapter 4 verse 24 that God is spirit but if anybody wakes up and decide to call God a woman that person must have something behind calling God a woman now this message I want to deliver is both to Christians and also to the owner of the song Ariana Grande it is a warning the song is blasphemous and it's it has a lot of things to do with satanism the song is a very blasphemous song it is against god almighty and if you are a believer i want you as you watch this video you please forward this video to as many as you can so that people don't watch this song uh, this is what the lord told me the lord told me that this song is a blasphemy that the the a summary of this song is that woman rules the world through the power of sex and that god is not in charge the god of heaven and earth the almighty god jehovah is no longer in charge of the world and that god is a woman and the woman rules the world through the power of sex when i actually watched the video you could see different kind of sexual symbolisms in the video and how she demonstrates the power i could even see how putting on a tag and on it was written power you know um it is a very blasphemous song the lord told me which i wrote down in this book no Christian should play that song. It is blasphemy against her maker. Anyone who promotes that song, buys it, gets entertained by it, shall share in her punishment. I, the Lord, will make her, that means Irina Grande, I, the Lord, will make her life detestful to her own self. I have spoken. This is the message. If you are a believer, please don't buy that particular music. Ariano Grande has been sent by Satan himself to deceive the world and blaspheme God. Please do not play that particular song. I don't know of other uh, videos and songs that have been released by her, but I'm particular about this one. Please do not play it. Don't entertain yourself with it stay away from my own punishment because the lord told me he is going to punish her and that he will make her life detestful to her please stay away from that song and the lord even told me this and i want to make it known to us the lord told me that what many have not understood is that this is the era of the holy spirit but there are horns that are being thrown to oppose the holy one these horns are sex money and power that same moment the lord gave me this message he explained to me that a lot of people don't understand that this era that we are is the era of the holy spirit but 
Satan is enthroning some horns against the Holy One, the Holy One, the Holy Spirit. And these horns are sex, power, and money. This is exactly what Ariana Grande has succeeded in doing in a song, God is a Woman. She's enthroning sex as God, that woman rules the world through the powers of sex. Please stay away from this song. Thank you and God bless you. Do visit my websites, egoeyeopener.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. Do subscribe to my YouTube channels, Osana E.E. David and Ego Eye Opener. Thank you. God bless you.